Important issues affecting you are being decided in Washington, as they always are. And here to talk about those issues, 5th District U.S. Congressman Glenn Thompson, who will be kicking off his reelection campaign with a four-day, 800-mile, 16-stop bus trip in just a few days from now. Jet 24 is your election headquarters. And Congressman Thompson, thank you for joining us. Uh, you were telling us briefly about this uh, campaign trip that you have planned. Tell us a little bit about what you intend to do on that trip. Well, uh, Jill, thanks for allowing me to be on the show with you. We're going to be traveling all around uh, the 24% uh, of the landmass of Pennsylvania that makes up the Pennsylvania 5th District, uh, stopping all 16 counties. Uh, uh, almost all day Thursday, uh, uh, next Thursday, going to be right here in Erie County and uh, looking forward to it. Make sure you dress warm, though, next Absolutely. Thursday when you're up here in Erie County. And, I mean, this is really the first time that your uh, district, too, has kind of changed. Do you feel like you've gotten a little lay of the land of the new district? Well, a absolutely. It's been a real honor to, uh, you know, the last election that I won included uh, the opportunity to, to represent two-thirds of Erie County, and it's been, it's been great. And so it's just a real honor to be able to serve the folks here in Erie County. Let's talk a bit about what's happening in Washington. Today, the president revamped the NSA spying program. Uh, is this needed, and if so, are these changes right? It is needed. I'm... I'm Concerned that the president did not go far enough in what he laid out. Uh, if the president was really serious, I would encourage him to support a bill that I'm an original co-sponsor of, the USA Freedom Act, which really repeals uh, the, the bulk collection of uh, information on U.S. citizens. Uh, I'm all in favor of going through the court system, getting... Uh, getting, inf uh, getting subpoenas to uh, be able to get information on uh, or warrants to, for those who have broke the law or they have reasonable cause, uh, but not on, not on everyday citizens. Uh, so I would encourage the president to support the USA Freedom Act. And uh, with another cyber issue, the Obamacare online security concerns, uh, any concerns about that? There's been a lot of problems already with that site. Well, as, as someone who has had to register into Obamacare and had tremendous difficulty uh, getting that done, I, I do have concerns, as does a bipartisan number of the members of Congress. Uh, last week we passed a, a bill to address these security issues, and we did it with a veto-proof majority. So Republicans, Democrats, uh, uh, significant concerns of, of the, how vulnerable your information may be. And uh, we heard earlier in the newscast about Senator Casey addressing the Asian cart problem, a, a big issue for us here on Lake Erie. Anything on that? Well, absolutely. It's something I work on as a member of the Natural Resource Committee. I'm on the Fisheries Subcommittee. We, we just uh, I work with Congressman uh, 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 Mike Kelly. Uh, his legislation he put forward, I co-sponsored. Is, that is actually in conference in the Water Resource Bill. And this appropriations bill we just passed this week included $300 million for Great Lake restoration and $3.5 million specifically to address the Asian carp issue. It is a huge vulnerability uh, and a threat to our economy. Okay. Fifth District Congressman Glenn Thompson, thank you so much for joining, and uh, you'll be back in the area next week. Best of luck on your tour. Thank you very much. Up next, a judge.